guys, welcome to my channel. So you're thinking about getting a new puppy. If you've dreamt about getting a puppy and you're thinking about a Yorkshire Terrier, then keep watching. Here's what you need to know. This is my Yorkshire Terrier, Ella. She's a purebred Yorkshire Terrier. She's actually a lot smaller than most Yorkshire Terriers. She's less than 2 kg and we got her from the Kennel Club. She lives in London and we travelled to Berkshire to get her. She's my best friend. But here are the things I wish I knew before I got a Yorkshire Terrier. She's considered to be a tiny Yorkshire Terrier, even though she's purebred. She's pretty much runt of the litter and the vet even said this is the healthiest little dog we've seen that doesn't actually have health problems. We call her Ellie Belly sometimes. We have lots of nicknames for her. She's four years old. She's lost most of her teeth, apart from a couple at the back. That is very unfortunate about Yorkshire Terriers. They're not very good for keeping their teeth because they're purebred and that is sometimes a fault with the breed. She has been to puppy class and she has passed. She's very well trained, they're so intelligent these little dogs, so they need a lot of mental stimulation. She has a lot of toys and goes on lots of walks, so if you're going to get this kind of dog, please don't think they'll sit in a handbag and be happy. No, no, no. They need a lot of exercise and a lot of grooming, but we'll get into that. She's very brave and very fierce. We have a back garden which she will charge at foxes, which are so much bigger than her, and the foxes will actually run away. She actually doesn't care that she's tiny she doesn't realize she's tiny she has like big fierce dog energy and that's what she projects and dogs are actually descendant from wolves she's a real attention seeker so once you get a dog please don't think you can go anywhere without them wanting to follow you like a little shadow even if i go toilet she wants to come with me like literally everywhere and i wish i could take her everywhere now yorkshire terriers are actually ratters and that's what they were bred for so she's fierce she loves to play with her toys so as you can see she has a strong ratter instinct that's what she was bred to do was actually to find and terminate rats and rodents so she's a fierce little girl she's also like a little athlete so if you get a yorkshire terrier be ready to go for walks and runs and play for hours and hours endlessly and grooming every day you must put a brush through their hair it's so important some other things you'll need is actually doggy shampoo this smells amazing. This is Sensitive Soul Delicate Skin Shampoo Coconut with Marula Oil. You will need shampoo to wash your dog every two to three weeks or so. Plus you'll need to go to professional groomer as she doesn't have fur, she has hair. So she doesn't shed everywhere, which is amazing. But then you have to do the high maintenance brushing. So in between your washes, you want to keep them fresh. So I use this rub on and wipe off tearless hypoallergenic formula sweet pea and vanilla now another thing you'll need for your pet is when they go outside and it's not time for their bath keep their feet clean so the rest of your house stays clean you will want these pet wipes just you know give them a little wipe down when you first get your dog as a puppy you might choose to do click training so when you press that you give them a treat now for walking you're going to need a harness i choose one that goes over the head and across the body and it all comes from there rather than here we don't want to choke the dog they have like a delicate esophagus they're very delicate dogs so you don't want to choke them so this is more of a like a sled dog would have so they pull from their strongest part when they're walking so highly recommend this kind of harness it's a body harness rather than around the neck and on her collar she has a name tag that has her surname and the other side has her address and telephone number in case she gets lost and also she's been microchipped which is also very important now another toy she loves and is obsessed with is this kong ball because it squeaks and it actually mimics the sound of a rodent Yeah, so she's obsessed with balls, tiny little balls because she's only got a small mouth. Plus, she's, you know, had most of her teeth removed. She only has a couple at the back now, so she can't really pick up the big toys anymore. So I get her the tiny little balls. Another thing is I chose to have her pad trained. This goes on the floor. You know, if I'm asleep and I can't take her to the toilet or if I pop out and she can't hold her tiny little bladder. So another thing you'll need 
when you get a Yorkshire Terrier is this. So stain and odour remover. They will still make mistakes. So this will take any smell away, but she's very trained now because she gets a little treat for every pee and poo. But in case an accident happens, which is very rare, then this is very handy. Even though we are brushing our dogs regularly, if you get a Yorkshire Terrier, she will need, or he will need professional grooming. So you, you must find a really good one near you because some are good and some are not. She had an incident where one groomer actually cut a bit of her eye bag and it was really sad. You know, they had to glue it back down and they never go back there again. But we found a couple of really lovely ones. They get booked up very fast because, you know, the dogs are getting groomed constantly and there's just not enough amazing groomers. So yeah, find a couple in case one's busy, go to the other one. You will also need a tiny brush because Yorkshire Terriers get quite tangled and knotted the longer their hair gets. So I do often get her a very short haircut with a pony. So if you think you're going to get a girly little dog that just sits there looking pretty, no, no, they're very beautiful, but they're athletes. So they need toys to mentally stimulate them. They need to go for a walk, for a run. She's a highly, highly active dog, very intelligent. This is a little trick your dog's gonna do a million pees and poos so when you go for a walk and you need to pick up the poo those little poo bags are so expensive but if you actually go to the pound shop you can get one of these rolls which is actually a nappy bag you can get two rolls for a pound and they smell baby powder soft and this is great for picking up poos so that is a big tip from me, like make sure you get loads and loads of poo bags. We've got a whole drawer full of them because she's a little pooper. Trust me, you're gonna pick up a lot of poos. Another tip is don't buy everything and go mad in all the pet stores. I know everything's really cute. So just buy the bare essentials when you pick up your dog, a little carry case, a little teddy, a water bowl, a food bowl, a little blanket. Okay, so you take it and rub it on everything there from the actual place where you're getting your dog, the breeders so that they pick up the scent. The scent is so important so that when they sleep they feel cozy and they're not gonna cry and cry and cry till they get used to you. You really don't want that, it's so, so sad. Food, of course, I'll show you what food she has. So Ella eats this, this is Lily's kitchen. So she literally eats the healthiest, healthiest food. If you're gonna leave your dog for a while and you want to keep them occupied, then that's a con toy. So you fill this hole with some soft food and some peanut butter. You can even freeze it so it takes them more time and they will take a lot of time and wear themselves out getting the food from there. You will also need a collapsible water bowl. So when you take your dog out and about with you everywhere, you can just pour a water in there. You keep your dog hydrated, it's so, so important, especially summer months, they can dehydrate very quickly. So this is good when you want them to have freedom but this is not so good for learning how to walk on the lead because they will go everywhere and zigzag so you really want a shorter lead where you can get better control so you teach them to walk on a certain side and not to pull and zigzag and cross all over you. She has two kinds of treats. These are her dry treats and she also has her wet treats. So I can show you with the clicker training. Sit down. Down. Good girl. I've discovered through puppy training classes that my dog is actually food motivated, so I use that to my advantage. Because Yorkshire Terriers are notoriously stubborn. Aren't you, baby? <laughs> With a dog, you want to be very careful. I'm going to put on the screen here. These are the things that please do not feed your dog. They're highly toxic and highly poisonous. And yeah, my dog had to have her stomach pump because my grandma fed her raisins by accident. So my dog literally, as soon as food has even hit the floor, she will catch it in the air and swallow it. So you have to be so careful what food she swallows. So they're so tiny and so delicate. Now my dog's quite a picky eater, but some human foods that she loves and she can have as a little treat is a bit of banana, some blueberry. She had venison yesterday for supper and salmon. Oh, she loves salmon. Make sure when you get a dog you're prepared to socialize your dog so that they don't have social problems anxieties issues so it's very important to either have doggy friends or to make some doggy friends 
other things to know is it is extremely expensive to buy a pedigree Yorkshire Terrier and to maintain them. Um, in vet bills, she has a pet care plan which covers flea and worming treatment. She also has pet care insurance. I love her so much. Like every day I wake up, she's so happy to see me. Every time I feed her, she's so happy. When I come home, she's just so happy and excited and it's just the best thing in the world. So if you want to see more pictures of Ella, then you'll find those on my Instagram. And on my Instagram, she actually has her own highlights and you can flick through and see her from like puppy age to now. There's like little videos and pictures of her on my Instagram. So I highly recommend you go there if you'd like to see some more Ella information. There's so many different dogs to choose from, but there's none other like the Yorkshire Terrier. They will just give you back so much love and joy. And the thing that I wish I knew before getting Yorkshire Terrier is just how much they steal your heart. As cute as this little one is, she's a cheeky little rascal. So if you're thinking about getting a Yorkshire Terrier and you're not sure if you should get pedigree or not, you know, please don't go to a random breeder because you don't know what ill health you're going to get of your dog. You could rescue a dog. That could be actually amazing if you rescued a dog from a shelter. But if you are set on getting a purebred dog, then I recommend the Kennel Club because then they'll be bred to standard and you can look through their family tree and yeah, you just know what you're getting. They literally are your best, best friend for life. And they live about 13 to 15 years. So I've had her for four years. And if you consider all these and you still want a Yorkshire Terrier, then go for it. You will not regret it. If you have the time, the money, the effort, and you've done all the research, Search, then they're just one of a kind yes let me know if you like this kind of content and we'll bring ella back perhaps you want to know about grooming or how to feed her or how much comment down below any yorkshire terrier questions that you have thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content like this thank you for watching see you in the next one <laughs>